And after a couple of hours, we will see who is crowned the champion of Fly vs. Yerk Siberia style. Run, baby, run. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm a happy fool. Oh. Oh. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day four of Siberia Tour 2019. We have had a pretty good streak so far with three fish over 10 kilo with Anton's uh, fish that he caught yesterday evening on 13 kilo on top and now we cannot wait to see what this day has to offer us. The fishing just keeps on getting better and better and better and this is the first time I legit feel that we might catch a 15 kilo on on some of the days. Yeah. I have never, ha this is quite a strange feeling actually, I have never felt this in my entire life before but now I think there might be a really good chance of us doing that. And for sure they are here and not the only one, believe me. Yep, they are here for sure and there's many of them. But no 15 kilos caught just yet. So we are here together with a few other Russian guys and what they love to do is that they love to fish with jerk baits. And yesterday evening a lot of nice fish was caught on the jerk baits, but today we're gonna see if there's actually a difference. Today it's time for the real version of Fly vs. Yerk. The rules to this competition will be very, very simple. We are going to go one by fly rod, one with a jerk rod, and uh, we're gonna change every hour to keep the angler effect out of this because Anton is on fire, so that's why that needs to be done. And we're gonna give one point for the one who catches the big fish every hour. And after a couple of hours we will see who is crowned the champion of Fly vs. Yerk Siberia style. Okay guys, so we just came here to the first spot and we decided that Miller starts with my fly rod and I'm gonna start with classic jerk. And man, the first single cast into the small cave and look at that one, look what we have here now. So we just start the day First cast in first bay and oof, that's a tank. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Look at that one. Mele, I think we need a net for that one. Yes. All by myself. All by myself. Come on, girl. Ooh, <laughs> That what I call a first cast. Yes! Man, that's looking like a 10 plus again. And look at that tank! The first cast of the day. Oh, oh, oh. oh my pike knuckles. Yeah. Look at that pretty fish. I think it's pretty sure yeah, to say that Jerk will get the big fish point the first hour. <laughs> Oh yeah. Now we start the day with a red fish over almost 10 kilos without 200 grams. Yeah, it's like one small white fish from 10 kilos, oh, yeah. but we weighed it and it's 9.8 kilos. One, one 16, oh, but yeah. she is pretty skinny, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a skinny girl. I'm a fishing guide and I fish like more than 200 days a year. And I really was missing that feeling when your heads Hands and legs are shaking and now we come here to Siberia and every single day I have that feeling again and that's fantastic, thanks God for that, yeah. Now we're gonna release that beast back in the waters. What a start, what, that's a pretty decent first cast of the day, man. The water game getting warmer and warmer when we go... Yeah, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Woo Siberia! If you have a chance, come here at least one. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can catch somebody on the fly, but the first hour is gonna be very hard to beat. Oh yeah. Damn, Anton, 9.8 to start the day on like literally the first cast. I mean, we catch big fish all around here, but to do that on the first cast, that's a pretty sick one. I'm using the Big Daddy TI from Vision. I have used it a little bit the other days and I really, really like pike fly fishing with this specific rod. That's the thing what I like the most about pike fly fishing. 
it's so relaxed and then when you get a bite it's like all of a sudden all hell breaks loose. So actually right in the middle of the cast here we, we heard Anton's clock beeping and I have zero fish for the whole first hour which is not due to the lack of fish but due to my lack of casting experience. I wish I was better at casting but practice make per makes perfect. So now I think it's time for me, I'm gonna slay this pike with some mummy shark and it's your time to take over the belt. The first hour is over and Jerk got the first point of this competition. Now we're moving on to a new hour and the points are zeroed. So the setup I'm gonna start with is the Gunky BCR and the Lizard X Pierre edition. That one has been working really good uh, for me over here in Russia where the pike are strong and they are big and they are heavy. That one with mummy shark and look at this boys and girls. See if my first cast also can deliver. I don't see how big go. Oh yeah. It's a pretty nice fish. So the first hour of fly fishing is gone. Zero fish caught for fly so far. And we're just into the second hour and straight off with mummy shark. It's unbelievable, man. This is a nice fish. It's... Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's a nice fish. Shark shad muncher, man. Now, Anton, you need to step up your fly game because I, I damn sure couldn't make it. Oh, you just stay, stay on, stay on oh, that yeah. side, yeah. We have so unstable boats, so if Anton comes here, we're gonna drown here. Look at that fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Woohoo! That's not gonna be impossible for you to beat on the fly though. It's around five and a half kilo as the first fish of the day actually for me. Mummy shark, they're always so trustful in this wherever in the world you are. Oh my god! Ah, are you okay? There's some power in this bike, man. How are you going to beat this on the fly, man? I don't know, but remember yesterday. Everything can happen, yeah. That's true. Okay, now we're gonna keep on fishing and see who is the official champion of Fly vs. Jerk Siberia. Fly or Jerk? I'm really so excited to start fly fishing. I'm gonna change that fly to another one, a little bit smaller and easier to cast behind because the wind is blowing and I'm also a rookie in fly fishing, though I caught a 13 kilo already. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm still a rookie and I cannot cast so good with the wind, so uh, maybe a smaller fly gonna help me a little bit. So let's change the fly. Take the basket and start casting. I'm pretty lucky today. I hooked a nice one. It's not, it's not maybe. No, it, it, no. <laughs> it's not so huge, maybe, but fuck for the fly, it's a giant. You have a 5.5 kilos to beat, man, for the fly to take over this hour. Oh, maybe I, I don't really sure that it's bigger, but no, 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 it's maybe not bigger, but the pressure was so huge, I thought it's a 10 kilo tank in the beginning. Get the net to work, man. And actually, what is good in this net, you can, uh, as you see, I just open it with one hand only. Oh, that's gonna be very close. Oh, papa! Woo! Yes! As I told you before, I took a little bit lightweight fly to cast in the wind, and boom! The fight was really epic for me, but the fish is not so big, but very strong. It's a little bit less than five kilo. It's not enough to beat Miller's pike. I, I think when you fish and fly, you can add some more kilos, actually. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's fair competition and we do fair play. So mwah, right, let's release that one back. Nope. Oof. It's, it's, it's even, you know, when they feel the water close, they just start, start shaking as hell. Yeah. There we go on the shark! It's a big one! Took me two casts with the shark. It's not a really big one, but it's a decent fish. It's gonna drag us out of here, man. Woohoo! Jesus Christ. Two casts with the shark, and look what happened. Yeah, it's actually a pretty nice fish. I think it's my biggest of the day, actually. <laughs> All the way into the weeds. Can you get it, man? I am here. It's over five kilo. 
5.5 kilo on the good old shark shad. This bait is getting so slammed that I literally can't believe it. I, oh. I, I, I think it go into 100 bikes for that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go into 100. I think it's like 65 or something on this now. Still waiting for the big fish, but it's a pretty damn good. Finishing of our two. You good, buddy? So we're entering our three with two points for Jerk. But since Anton was so eager to continue with fly fishing, we decided that he was gonna go for one hour more with the fly. There we go, Anton! Yeah! There we go, on the popper fly! <laughs> oh my god, is it a nice fish? Not so small yet, she's coming in deep, man! Yeah, dude! Yeah, I just switched to popper, fly popper. Just to give it a try. I haven't. Even, I only can see the popper down there, but it's coming in deep, man. Ooh. It's coming in deep. Let's take it up. Ah. Oh, that's another four or five Ooh. kilo one. <laughs> but this, the fight is so good with the fly rod, and it's actually first spike on popper for me, on fly popper. I mean, as usual, short and fat. Whoa! <laughs> So much power in that one. Hope you won't break my rod. And we really found the spot where there are some fish now. Oh, that's a nice fish! Really nice to fish with that small body here, small popper with a wiggle tail and one single barbless hook because the bites they are awesome. Oh, 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 it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, baby. I I am so amazed it's a small popper. Ooh. What's happening here? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh that's a big one. That's a big one. Stop, 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 stop. I have a nine class big daddy TI rod, but it's I can do just nothing. Ooh. Ooh. I hope the rod will manage. It's a ten, my friend. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. It's a ten. Like a round, like a real shark. But we haven't seen it, and we like. We haven't. We haven't. Seen we haven't it. like. We're like four minutes into the fight. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a ten. Maybe not ten, but easily eight, nine kilos. <sighs> Can it be something better? I haven't even seen the fish, man. I, I, I see it now. Oh yeah, man, it's ten. Or maybe, maybe not, but fuck, it's big. It's big. Big mama for big daddy. <laughs> okay, now it's time to, to take the net. I still haven't seen the fish. Now you see oh it. my God, this, oh my God. Here. 
Ooh. That's actually even the most epic fight than I had with 13 kg. Whoa! That's a monster. Run, baby, run. <laughs> Guys, that's actually the happiest moments in my whole entire life. This week is something I really, I'm so afraid that I will wake up somewhere in Finland or Belarus and that's gonna be like a dream. But that's true and you will see it on your screens and I'm gonna wait for that episode so much. Ah, Mila, let me give you a hug, man. The whole popper is somewhere in that deep hole. Every day this net holds a uh, over 10 kilo pike and that's insane. actually just weighted it and we it was so heavy we, we both had to do it how much does it weigh it's 10.50 I have no words to describe that now we're gonna measure the fish it's not so long actually but really fat and the fight was so epic I, I, in the middle I, in the beginning I saw that it's like normal five six kilo pike but when she took all the line from my reel and go just to the middle of nowhere I even hurt my fingers with the reel you know that was amazing. I won't forget that moment. Actually, so many moments from here, I won't forget. <laughs> I love it when we have to remove that box over there so that the whole fish can fit. Uh, it's a little bit short. One, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's, it's 112 with okay. the upper fin. It's a 112 centimeter pike. 10.5 kilo. The best fighter, actually, of my life. We are out of words since two days back. So here we have 10.4, 112 centimeter, swimming back into the water. I have no more words to say anymore. Bye, bye my dear. Woo! And I don't really know what can happen more better than that pike fishing here in Siberia, but we continue. <laughs> I'm a happy fool. Oh. Oh. That's crazy. Oh my god. On popper. It, and it, and on, on the popper. And it's like for all the shit it took to get here and like three days straight of traveling out to the middle of in nowhere. Oh. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure on the fly. So you were gonna have to do that and I'm gonna go on with the shark shads. Yeah, let's do that. And one more thing guys I wanna say. Huge thank you, especially to Thomas Rutkanen who gave me some fly lessons and who equipped me with that good big daddy rod and that reel and that floating line. And one more thank you to my customer uh, Piotr Salavyov who made that nice popper for the 10 plus and also he made the fly with uh, which I caught a 13 plus. Thank Jesus you. Jesus Christ, Thank man. You. Thank you, you guys. Have, you, have more, you have more 10 kilos on fly than on rubber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this crazy. is so sick, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. oh, maybe I have to switch for fly fishing. I don't know. And after that epic moment, we just sat in shock in the boat. And truth be told, that was the last pike caught that day on fly. Jerk won the remaining hours, but it was not really that we care about that. It seems unfair to give the price of the first ever Fly vs Jerk Siberia edition to Team Jerk, but rules are rules. That doesn't really matter at all when Anton caught a fish like that on a popper fly. 
Anyways, we say congrats to Team Jerk for sealing the deal for the first edition of Fly vs Jerk Siberia. After that, we decided to head back to the base camp for another night spent by the campfire. Stay safe out there folks, see you guys next week. Au revoir.